Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, yesterday, uh, due to some circumstances, um, we had no video, but we will make that up today. Um, today we're going to do a review of the OBD11 Pro Edition. So today we are doing a review on the OBD11 device. Uh, we, do, we are doing the review of the OBD Pro. Uh, why Pro? Uh, I bought this uh, little device with credits. So when you go Pro, you pay a little extra and you get credits. More on that later. Um, with those credits, you can do apps. And I will show you exactly how to do it. But what are the apps? Um, apps is basically the programming language in Volkswagen vehicles. You can also do it with Lamborghini, Bentley, and I will show you the supported vehicles list the, later on. Um, but the main thing is when you plug this in in your OBD uh, gateway from the car, you can adjust a lot of cool things. And the newer the car, the more obviously you can adjust. For example, in a Golf 6, 7 GTI or any car with a, with a cockpit, that is uh, digital, you can adjust and add and remove all sort of cool stuff. And I will show you that later on too, when we dive into the how-tos. First of all, you need to know, this plug goes in the OBD port from your Volkswagen. Um, Volkswagen, Audi, it is usually on the same, uh, same place, some of them have it uh, with the lighters, but my Touareg and the GTI uh, Polo, they have it in here. So I will show you that later. Uh, I will show you it now, why not? We just gonna plug it in immediately. Okay, so when you go to the paddles, you see that purple um, plug and you plug it just right in there. Uh, let me see, right there, yes. Plug it in good, so we are now have a red light, which is good. Okay, so the plug is now in. We have the uh, key on ignition, but we do not start the car. So now we go in the phone and hopefully we can let you see how this all works. Okay, so we opened the OBD11 app and well, let's first show you the supported vehicles. So, support the vehicles. As you can see, it's Audi, Volkswagen, Seat, Skoda, even Lamborghini and Bentley. Um, in Volkswagen, you have all the brands, all the Golfs, everything you, every um, model Volkswagen has ever put out is in there. The Phaeton, Polo GTI, of course. Uh, even some brands I don't know, the Scirocco, which is pretty rare too. Uh, Turak, Turak, Turan. You name it, it is all there. So let's take just for a second uh, uh, our new Golf GTI. Okay, so we can choose now the, the modification. We go with, uh, what should we take? Just a normal GTI. The body type will be a uh, five doors hatchback and boom, the new GTI. So when we go here to apps, you have three options, uh, adjustment, retrofits and workshop. Okay, this is what we talked about. The workshop is when you do stuff and you need things to replace. Um, but the fun thing is the adjustments. Um, virtual cockpit color, for example. You can change the color from gold, red, and blue, and you see the requirements. Normally, you can only do this with um, self-programming uh, it into it, but it's difficult. So this OBD11 has made an app for it, so you can just click it and it's there. All right. So as you see uh, on the right top corner, it costs 10 credits. Now I have bought the OBD11 uh, uh, console dongle, yes, for the reason of this, and I will look it for you, 
uh, I have no, oh, the pro. Okay, you have wallets. So when you buy uh, OBD 11 Pro, you get 500 um, credits. And as you can see, I already spent 10 and I got 102 free. Now this works that you can every, every day, you get one credit if you open the app. So I have it for 102 days already. So that is that. So I have now 592 credits. I have two cars in it because when you go to garage, there are the beasts. So we have the Polo on which we are now and the Touareg. So this is quite perfect. So as you have seen, um, we are now in the car, in the Polo GTI. We have ignition on, but the car has to be off, all right? So ignition on, uh, don't start the car. Then you go to garage, choose the Polo GTI. And that's not correct. You go home, I'm sorry for that. Click connect, and then of course, and then, I'm sorry this is in Dutch, but that's not really a problem. I think you just get the hang of this. So now it's connecting to the OBD Pro, which we put in the plug. This can take a couple of seconds. In the meanwhile, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> A few moments later. All right, so here it is. Now, the best part, perhaps, from uh, the OBD11 is that you can scan the car on active faults. So first, you can see the battery attention. But now let's do a quick scan. Scan. All right. So now it's going through the entire system of the car and we'll read all the problems as you can see we already have one a check and then check engine light is on um so uh yeah we just have to wait for that um i will get back to you when it's done eventually all right we're back um as you can see we have three fault modules now you can click on the right uh down corner on the blue logo what it is okay so we have motor electronica you click on faults Secondary air system. Okay, this is known and will be handled shortly, but that is the only one. And then we have a system fault in the electronica and the brake system. You click faults. Warning, tire pressure. So, okay, that is, uh, we had a flat tire a couple of days ago. Um, you have, uh, it will uh, remember this fault. So, if we um, push the trash can here, it shouldn't come back at all because it's okay now. Okay, so and the electronica from the airco and the heating. Yeah, these are known and these will probably come back, but oh, it's not on. So we're gonna try it again. Uh, you go back, 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 and you can hold to clear faults. Okay, let's do that. Emptying, one of two. There is a good chance the uh, faults will not come back, and there is a good chance the faults will come back because it's a mechanical issue. But we will see. One fault over, and that is from the airco faults okay so in the air valve we should replace that but the fun fact is my Volkswagen has the same fault so I guess it's a Volkswagen thing other than that we can go to apps there is no adjustment in this sector okay retrofit none workshop you can do a oil service reset if needed so my telephone is loading and that is not 
Ah, there we are. Okay, so you can reset it and it costs you 10 credits, okay? But let's just look at an other car. Support the vehicles. You go to... Oh, let's take Audi for a change. Uh, let's take uh, the big bad... Uh, I don't know. Maybe... Um, yeah, let's go with the S5 from this year. Maybe there are some, maybe there are none. S5. Body type coupe or should we take the sport bike? No, we go with the coupe. Let's see if it has any apps. No apps, retrofits or workshop. It's possible that uh, that car is too new, uh, but there are still coming updates every now and then, so just keep that in mind. But let's take an Audi and like Let's take the S5 from 2016 to 2019. Uh, the S5 body coupe. Still a brutal car though. And let's see if this has any apps. Yes, this has a lot of apps. So as you can see, virtual cockpit. You can choose anything. Parking brake release, second phone support. Key fob. Range limitation increases the range of the remote control. That is awesome. Uh, as you can see, there are a lot of apps for a lot of cars. And they are all uh, 10 credits, some are non credits, and some are 100. The lane assist step 1, which is pretty awesome. You can change it all. But, yeah, that is what it's all about. Um, let's go to auto. Also, uh, there is a parts market coming up. Maybe useful to know. And if you want to have live data, this will work also. It all works. It's useless to let you see it because... I don't see the value to that. Information, however, that is useful. You can see which year it is. You can even see the chassis number, the VIN number. You can see the kilometers. And I think this is right. Let me see this. Let me see. Oh, that is. Yeah, that is correct. So you can. Uh, the engine code, equipment, which is all great. Um, you can also do it the history, so you can see all the faults it had in the past. So this is also a convenience when you are buying a new car second hand and you want to see if it has any faults or you can see the history and that is all really perfect so yeah this is uh, pretty awesome let me know what you think guys if you like this do a blue thumbs up and uh, well I really hope you uh, love this uh, OBD 11 but uh, I will leave a link in the description, but yeah, I don't get paid to do this, but I just really do believe this is a great app. Especially since Volkswagen has a lot of um, electrical issues sometimes. And although it's just sensor malfunctions, you can just uh, erase the codes and it's all good again. But if you go to the garage, they will charge you with a lot of money just to do this. So if you buy this, it will save you on the long term a lot of money. It saved me already this a lot of money since we have two Volkswagens at the driveway. Um, so yeah, if you uh, want to see it, uh, check it out at the website of OBD11. And um, if you like this video, let us know in the comments and uh, leave a thumbs up. And make sure you don't forget to subscribe.